Are we ready? Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined by Magic Pro Matt Sperling for some CEDH action. I'm Matt Sperling. You can find me on Twitter at SickOfIt. This video is brought to you by our sponsors, Dragon Shield. Check out the affiliate link down below to help support the show. So we have Cam on Rumpel Stillskin Malcolm Timna, Matt's on Jetmir, I'm playing Thrasios Timna, and Tyler's on Ikra Dargo. <laughs> Is everyone ready? I have never been more ready. Wait, I have five. Any pregames? None here. Zero pregames. I will start this game off with a draw. I will play a windswept teeth. I'll crack it going to 39, getting myself a tundra. And we're going to cast a Sarah Ascendant. Big. Big. I will pass the turn after this. OK, I will draw. I will play Spire Garden. Tap Spire Garden for Soul Ring. Tap soul ring for sphere of resistance. Ooh. Oh, sure. Oh, man. <laughs> if sphere of resistance resolves, I'll conclude my turn. Great. Draw card. I think I'm like out of the game from that. All right. I'm going to play an underground C. All spells, right? All of them? That's correct. Okay. Every good. single yeah, one. I'm just going to pass turn then. I really benefited off of turn order here, and that's the only reason why I have a turn one play. I, uh, what's the opposite of benefited? Disbenefited, unbenefited. Yes, you I'm were. I'm debenefited. I, yes, that's the word. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad for me too. Yeah, that sucks. Dura, Ancient Tomb, and pay two life to cast a Jeweled Lotus going to 38, and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> nice, okay. I will get a draw. I'm gonna play in Ancient Tomb as my land for turn two. I'll lose two life going down to 37 to cast the Spell War Stone. I'll go to combat and I'll sink my teeth into Tyler over there for six. I will take six, go to 32. 37 plus six sounds like it's 43. I will pass the turn after that. Okay, untap. We'll draw a card. I'll have a colorless floating to cast Birds of Paradise for two mana. I'll play a forest with my colorless floating. I will cast Bindhorn Elves. Oh, we are losing this game. We are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron, uh, I'm not sure you should be attacking me. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it sounded right at first, but I don't know how right it sounds anymore. <laughs> I'll pass. So sorry, that conversation about how you should attack me has to end with my turn. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh, go to my turn. Draw a card. That's going to be a pass turn for me. Wow. Well, you weren't kidding about getting yep. locked out. Okay. I was on to yeah. five, so like I had a couple one drops in one land. This should be <laughs> fine on a five. I should be great. <laughs> nope. <laughs> on tap. We'll draw off for turn. I'm going to play a Forbidden Orchard as land for turn. Pay three, losing two life, going to 30. To I have my spirit ready. A four <laughs> stone of my own. I will give the spirit to Dylan. Nice. And I will pass the cam. Here we go. Get a draw. We'll play Dark Slick Shores. That's timely. I think we'll lose two going to 41 to cast the Tim now. We'll move to combat. Mr. Sperling over there looks too strong. I'm going to hit you for six. Fair enough. I'm at 34. I will go to 47 and have a Timna trigger going down to 46 and drawing a card. I will follow that up with a turn pass. Sunbaked Canyon will be my land for the turn. I'll lose a life from said Sunbaked Canyon. 33. I'll cast my commander. Jetmir. Yes. So my creatures all have plus one, plus zero in vigilance since I have three creatures. Try to enter combat. I'll send the Birds of Paradise over at Cam and I'll send the Findhorn Elves down at Tyler. I will take yeah. one. I'm done. Do we want to say anything about Jetmir at this point? What would we say? Uh, this is out of hand really quickly, immediately. Okay, here we go. Heart of the cards. Draw a card. Excellent. Shock in a watery grave. We're in this, baby. There you go. <laughs> I am going to 38 and I will cast Mana Vault. Does attacking do anything? Does preventing it? I think I'm going to not attack. I'll pass turn. I'll untap and draw for turn. I'm going to pay two colors, losing two life, going to 26. I will tap Forbidden Orchard for red, giving Dylan a spirit. Lightning Bolt targeting the Finhorn Elves. Blood of green mana. And then with my green and my colorless, I am going to cast an Elves of Deep Shadow. Nice. And if that's good, I will pass the turn. You want to be the only elf holder? Is that what it is? Yeah, elf dominance just established. I'm going to go to combat. Tyler, you're going to get hit with the Timna. And then Matt, I'm going to hit you with the 6-6 six, six up here. No block. No block. All righty. So I, everything has life. I'm gaining eight life 
45 plus 8 is 53. Minus 2 is 51 for this Timna trigger on my second main. Here's I go to 27. Cool. These are all good cards to know about. Let's play Arid Mesa. Losing 2, going down to 49. And I will cast a Malcolm. I'm going to go to 48 and fetch White Black Land, and then I will pass. Oh, Taiga Land turn. Lose a life to Sunbaked Canyon, 26. Cast Rin Wingmare, the Flying Thalia. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, everyone. I was supposed to discard a card. It's a Grim Monolith. Oh, now that you have this free information, the Grim Judge, Monolith doesn't feel Judge. good anymore. Oh, now that there's a Rin Wingmare landing. Okay, <laughs> well, to be sense. fair, Grim, it's not like Grim Monolith felt good before this anyway. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I'll move into combat. Jetmir will attack him, and Birds of Paradise will attack Tyler. I will take one, go to 23. Six coming in, six commander damage. That's what that is okay so i'm down to 42 with six jet mirror and then i'm done all right here we go untap draw a card i'm just gonna pass turn still nothing just pass turn six in hand untap draw for turn i will play a marsh flats i'm gonna crack it right away going to 22. i think this malcolm timna and six six is gonna run away with this one i'm down to yeah. one card what you see is what you get i don't believe you <laughs> <laughs> cam how many cards in your hand I well, I did uh, forget to discard. All right, yeah, so you have seven <laughs> cards in hand. We found a value. I will pay five, losing four life. Two to Ancient Tomb, two to the Phyrexia Mana for a Birthing Pod. The Forbidden Orchard Spirit is going to Dylan once again. I'd like to think a little bit on Birthing Pod here. Oh my god, I'm just trying to dig out for the sphere. You Bastard, leave it alone. <laughs> I know you are. I love that. Like, yeah, I know you are. That's why I'm thinking about it. I know. Like, yeah. It would be good for you, Tyler, to have that birthing pod. That's why we, we don't want you to have it. But What's the dock side I... count? It's four. Dargo getting any access to treasures is bad news, but four yeah. isn't the worst. Yes, That's I am trying to have problem. a seven five blocker. I know it's terrifying. <laughs> birthing pod is the problem. It's not that dock side it's the problem. It's yeah. that birthing pod sticks around until the next turn and is going to continue to cause problems. Yeah, this activation won't kill us. The next one might. The next one will. Okay. The next one also will not through serious resistance engines. I don't believe you. So okay. I'm going to cast a force of will. This is how I'm paying for it. An alternate cost is exiling a mana drain, losing one life going down to 41, and then I have to pay two additional mana because of those stacks pieces. So that's how I'm paying for it. Excellent job. You got it. I will pass the turn. We will move to my turn then, based on those words. And... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sorry. Okay, let's play a mana confluence and let's move to combat. I'm going to send Timna down at Tyler, Sarah Ascendant over at Matt, and then Malcolm down at Dylan. No effects. I will take two. No blocks. 16. I'll go to right. 20. Malcolm will trigger first, getting me a treasure, and then Timna will bring me down so that I can draw three cards. This Timna Malcolm deck that you're playing has done like a great job of like doing just enough to make sure you hit all your land drops, you ramp just enough, you're drawing cards, you have just enough resources to break parity on all of Matt's stacks pieces, basically. Yeah, no, I, I feel like I'm in a great position here where I'm utilizing the stacks pieces that Matt has that's holding off you and Tyler so much that as long as I don't overextend and I can leave up interaction, I can totally take over this game. So let's pay two life for a Mox Opal. I mean, Signet. Yeah. <laughs> Cast, checking the stacks pieces again. Yes. Cast the Praetor's Grasp, targeting Dylan. Yeah, I say nothing. I just sent you the name of the card that I'm interested in. Uh, um, where do you get to take it from? Your library. What happens if it's somewhere else? Hooray. You tell him pick again. The other one, please. You got it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's here. So it's Sainted Pact is, is what we now know. Great. Uh, there's a random mystery card in exile. <laughs> that. Don't worry about it. I will pass the turn then. Okay. Don't worry about it, he says. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. I'll send everybody over at Cam. 10 damage total. Taking another six for 12 commander damage. I'll pass the turn. End step. I'll cast Vampiric Tutor, having to pay two extra for it. Tap the mana ball. Go for the land. Straight up, I'm getting command tower. All right, so I lose two off that. Go to 34. Go to my turn. In my draw, mana vault will ping me again. Go to 33 and draw the card. Mm -hmm. Why did you even get guys Cradle? I wanted to extremely badly, but I need more than just green. I also need white at some point in my future. Uh, I'm going to play this command tower, and I'm going to cast Devoted Druid. I see why you're interested in white mana all of a sudden. I just also realized that I have given away far too much information. Go to do it on the stack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cam, I'll go to combat and I'll get you for three. Wow. That's all I got then. So pass turn. I'm gonna play this tiger. Oh boy. Okay. So 
Here, I'll tell I'll tell you what I'm planning to do so you can see how that impacts you because I know we're, we are trying to stop Cam here. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to delay Blast Fireball as an instant to try to clean up those creatures, it, like the Timna. The, it, it may not help us because it may not stop the combo, but that's that's all I've got. Okay, I'm gonna pay for like this, losing one life, going to 15. Losing three life in total. And cast the Diabolic Intent, sacrificing Elves of Deep Shadow as an additional cost. Yeah. No effects. Yep. Okay. I'm going to search for a card. Will Just, you be able to save us? I don't want to say much more because I don't want to give anything away to Cameron. Just make him afraid. I know what it is. Do you? Oh my god, yeah. Are you <laughs> kidding me? This is so obvious. <laughs> Everyone, we all know. We all, we're all hip and aware. But between all of us, like if you look at all of our magic playing careers, we've all, you know, when you combine it all, we've been to the Pro Tour a ton, so <laughs> right. we all know what's going Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I'm gonna then crack Jeweled Lotus for three red. Since I have sacrificed two things now this turn, that means I can cast Dargo for four with the Sphere of Resistance text. So I'm going to do that with the Taiga, and then I'm going to pass the turn. In, in your end step, I'm going to delay Blast Firewall. Cool, and that will deal two damage to what? Each of my opponents and all the creatures they control. That's extremely unha- un uh, bad, bad. <laughs> uh, un <laughs> it's, going to it's, it's good, I'm glad it's happening. I'm just also upset. <laughs> so my commanders die, my flyer stays, and we'll move to my turn then. I'm down okay. to 30 life. I'm going to 28. Here's two <laughs> colorless mana that we're floating. We are going to pay blue, blue, and one of the colorless for a Thassa's Oracle. Matt, you uh, good? Works for me. Pass on Thoracle. Yep, passing on Thoracle. Pay one black, two more. Dylan's Tainted Pact? Yes, to cast Dylan's Tainted Pact. I wrote down somewhere. Yes, all right, Tainted Pact on the stack with a Thassa's Oracle trigger. Matt, you good? Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Pact. I pass on Tainted Pack. I'm going to exile my whole library until I get to Ottawara, the Soaring City. That's the last card I'm revealing. Matt, you can't somehow get rid of the Thoracle, can you? I cannot. Okay. Nor can I. Thoracle Trigger? En endurance? Do you have it, Tyler? No. I don't. This deck doesn't run Endurance. Oh, that's All what right. I thought it was. I thought it was. Good game. Uh, nice. I thought I was going to be so mad that I lost my <laughs> Malcolm and didn't have the other treasure to be able to mm. also cast Silence, but. Ooh. That worked out. Okay. Was it Besage was the card? Is that what it was? No, I determined there was no card that could stop a Thoracle oh, okay. here. So I had Noxious Revival, which is why I wanted you to remove the Thoracle. But mm. I, I searched for Culling Ritual and, and on the assumption that I could not stop Cam with anything in the deck. So I could at least set up to try and do something if we did survive. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Fair. Good win, Cam. I feel like uh, this deck did exactly what I wanted it to from the podcast this week. So even though Doomsday didn't come up, mm. but... How do we go into the next? Last game, I mulligan to five. This next game, I mulligan to four. Let's get into game two. This time, Matt's playing Inala. Any pregames? Not for me. Not for me. Okay. Show me what you got. Draw a card. Oh, wow. Off the top. Hollowed Fountain cast Esper Sentinel. Hell yeah. We're back in this, baby. <laughs> Never didn't have it. Fast turn. A little draw off turn. I'm going to play a Verdant Catacombs, and I'm going to crack it right away. I'm going to get a Badlands. Cast Mana Crypt. Esper Sentinel. I will pay for Esper Sentinel with the Badlands. Nuts. Pay two, cast an Arcane Signet. Pay one, cast a Death Rite Shaman. Ooh, nice. All right, All right that's a start. Very cool. Okay. Very good. Here we go. Dark Six Horse. I will also cast a Mox Diamond. Trigger Esper Sentinel. You can have this one. One. Hell yeah, baby. Cameron. It's fine. Discard this ancient tomb to keep some other people out of the game. I'm going to cast a Dothy Voidwalker. I will follow up with a Mox Opal and uh, pass the turn. All right. I will draw. Mana Confluence. Mox Diamond. That's percent on trigger. I won't pay. Nice. Trigger. I'll discard and exile with a Void Counter. A Misty Rainforest. My next trick, I will play Wish Claw Talisman. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw a card. Play Wood of Foothills. Crack Foothills. 37. Go search. Ooh. Yeah, it's exile with a Void Counter. Just so you know. You got yep. it. I can get by you with that. I'm going to cast Springleaf Drum. I'll tap Esper Sentinel to make a green mana. Cast Thrasios. That's it. Pass turn. Untap. Roll for Crypt. Odds will be damage. I rolled odds, so I will go to 36. Offer turn. An Undergrowth Stadium. Cast a Felwar Stone. I am paying for Esper Sentinel. Unfortunate. Some people are responsible. <laughs> cast a Defense Grid. And then, he, and then he immediately does an irresponsible thing, like gives <laughs> everyone protection on their turn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Warning, warning. Don't be alarmed. Cam, you're up first. Uh, nothing to say. Matt, anything? No, unfortunately yeah. not. I also, had, I also have nothing. I'm, I'm not doing anything this turn. But I am Even more follow, alarming. Follow it up with an Imperial Seal, which I hope scares the shit out of you. It does. Ooh, Man, I'll take Cameron gets an Imperial Seal. Yeah. I have found a card. I will put it on top of the library. Lose two life. Go to 34. And then Cameron, I will pass to you. <laughs> so <laughs> scary. It's so scary. I'm scared of Cam now. You I have that. one card in hand. I know, but there's a defense grid and you gave him an Imperial Seal. 
to. If you saw my hand, you would not be scared of me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I play an exotic orchard. Just cast the Tim though. Sure. And I'm actually gonna attack Tyler for three. I will accept. I will also go to 39 on my second main to draw a card off Tim Disability. Hoobly, I will pass the turn. Draw, I'll cast everyone's favorite goblin pirate. Oh Goblin. boy. I pass. Yeah, me too. I too. I so also it looks do. like it's two, two, and four makes eight. Cameron, can you can you tell me why you attacked with Althi? Because I feel like maybe you shouldn't have. Well, uh, yeah, because what's Dothi gonna do? The, the defense grid is gonna prevent Dothi. Yeah, um, for okay. my turn. There, there are also two other players. Why did you cast defense grid? Don't don't come at me about playing around <laughs> defense grid. You cast the defense grid. This I is your fault. <laughs> Dibs. I'll activate Wish Claw Talisman. Sure, whatever. Give it to Cam. It's fine. I'll take it. Well, I think my deterministic wins are stopped by the Dothi, so we're probably in the Nas phase of the game here. Let's see. Okay, it, it did cost me a treasure to activate this card, so we keep the game state clean here. Yes, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I am going to add an ad nauseum to the stat going down to these two treasures. Oh, so there's one on the stack right now. Oh, boy. Okay. As per Sentinel Trigger. I will pass. I have no effects. Okay, I'm I'm arcane saving. I'll stop at three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I run a lightning bolt. Yeah. <laughs> well, it costs three more mana, Tyler. So <laughs> that is that is true. Ad nauseum is exile with the void under the void stack. All right, I will exile some in spirit guide. No void counter. Right of flame. Exile with the void counter. Float two red. Flame mana crypt. Storm is now four. I can keep track of storm if you want. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Tap mana crypt. Add two colors. Float one of them. Sack a treasure, play Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual's exiled, this is Storm's five. Add three black. I'll use one of the black and the colorless to cast this Tainted Pact. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop at snap. Mm, that's gotta help quite a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll play my land for the turn exotic. I'll use a red, snap my dockside. Exile that with a void counter. I'll use a black and a red. I'll cast my dock side. Oh, you get, you get, I'm sorry, you get two untapped lands too. Oh, yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. And I think that because I gave the wish claw away, I think the treasure count is, I think it's nine now. I think that sounds right. No, yep, that's right. Black, sack of treasure in this one land. Deluge paying two, I go to one. I'm gonna respond and activate death right to exile cam, so ancient tomb just for shits. I lose all my creatures. I think creatures go exiled, but the spell goes to the graveyard because okay. I think that's, that's how it works. Storm's nine. I will sacrifice three treasures. I'm gonna cast windfall. Huh. I have 17 cards. <laughs> yeah, I have four. Uh, wait, let me count one, oh, two, three. Yeah, that's more than me. <laughs> Draw 17. I had four lands, by the way. Holy shit. My last card in hand was pure into the abyss. All right, well, I'll win if we get to my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't say. Um, I'll cast a Spellseeker, three treasures left. Wow. Spellseeker will trigger Inala, then also trigger itself. And so I'm gonna stack it like that. Resolve the spell seeker trigger with the Renala's trigger remaining on stack. I'll go for Culling the Week. We're still with the Renala trigger on the stack. I'll add Culling the Week to stack, sacking a treasure. This is gonna sacrifice the spell seeker. This is gonna add four black. I'm gonna use one of the black to then resolve the trigger. And now this will become a copy of spell seeker. When that spell seeker copy resolves, I get to search my library. In Tomb, I'll use two black. I will cast a Persist on my Scholar of the Ages. I discarded the Windfall. At this point, I can demonstrate a loop. I basically can get infinite black right now by every time this comes in, it grabs these two. I spend a black, make four, right? And then um, it, because I'm expending three mana but gaining four, I, I get infinite black mana. With the infinite black mana, I'll start looping Persist and Entomb. I will then Entomb my entire deck. I will then target Thassa's Oracle with a Persist. Hell yeah. That was freaking sweet. Nala is a powerful deck. Crixus is a powerful strategy. And Matt Sperling is a talented magic player. It was great to watch all of that come together so efficiently. Yeah, what a beautiful showing by Nala here. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patrons. Demon of Rosgris and Baby g -Bus. If you'd like to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Big thank you to Dragon Shield. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Make sure you check out our affiliate link down below for all of your merch needs. You can follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Let's talk about our $50 patrons.
AJ, I will save E. Jaco Tofield. Stashes. Mitchell Shepard. Justin. Man Solo. Nikola Marikovic. Steven Schlick. D. Big TP15. The Green Guy. Blanchard Jackson. Isaiah Brilisky. Pedro. Metal Place Green. Z. Glad you hit me. <laughs> Jacob Durrett. Michael Ballou. You're on, Wild Thing. Thomas Bruno. Shrimp Heem McKee. Lord God help. David Nelson. Joy Bags. We go into the next one. I'll say, um, this is the play to win double header. So, do you want to get into the next game? Yes. Here we go. Another game. All right. Let's try a different one. <laughs> let's try a different one. All right, yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to see another game? <laughs> Stick around for more. Do you? Would you like w uh, one more game? Don't go anywhere. Play to win. We'll be right back after these messages. <coughs> Welcome back to Play to Win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me let me let me get some creative juices going. Okay. Hi, I'm Cameron, and you're watching Play to Win. Would you like to see another game? Oh, hey there, kids. <laughs> what is? That? I don't know. All right, no, this is good. This is all this good. Is, I like this. this is yeah. Good. Um, what about what about this one? Oh fuck! What the uh, fuck? <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here. <laughs>